Now, with that said, on to the, the subject, the desired subject of today's video. Um, hashtags. Which probably you wonder, well, what does it have to do with cars? Like, that's what you talk about is cars. So why are you talking about hashtags? Are you trying to be trendy? No. I have a problem with a specific hashtag. Um, when it comes to cars, I don't care what you do. I don't care if you're a show car. I don't care if you're a rat rod. I don't care if it's a mud truck or a muscle truck or a muscle car or an import or a tuner or European or whatever. Like, everybody has their own preferred taste. Everybody has, like, what they want to do. I have a big preference for race cars. I like going fast. I like making speed. I love it. velocity. To me, velocity is very important. Uh, like, I have my goal set out that I want to hit with my car. I'm doing that in stages. I know I can't just set a goal and be like, I'm going to do that this year. It's, I want to do that, but it's not going to happen tomorrow because I have, there's other things I'm going to have to take into consideration. There's going to be other obstacles that are going to come up along the way. That's how a project car works. Um, what I have an issue with is when people build cars that are show cars or daily drivers or anything like that and they do because it becomes well known like especially with drifting and uh, like race and race cars they're usually loud and brash and parts tend to break and so they're kind of haphazardly fixed on the track to get them by like zip ties or mechanics wire to hold up exhaust and the exhaust the muffler's gone so it's loud because those are race cars they're service serving one purpose um, but usually, unless it's a body kit piece and the thing get take to beating all the time, usually they get fiberglass and repaired properly. Usually the parts get fixed. Usually the exhaust gets changed out. It gets repaired properly later. What I'm tired of seeing is when people do a haphazard repair on their car that's a daily driver with a hashtag, ha like, hashtag race car. That's not race car. You fixed it with zip ties because... Like, be honest, you fixed it with zip ties because you need to fix it with zip ties. Shit happens. Like, I've fixed things on my car with zip ties. The lower, lower front air dam thing. I hit a big, like, not a divot. Well, I hit a divot with the one side of my car, and it was really wide, and I caught it on a bunch of gravel, and it got ripped out. So to keep it from dragging, I got to the shop I work at, Deluxe Motor Works, grabbed some zip ties, zip tied it up to keep it up off the ground. When I got home, I figured out, took out one of the other pieces. I checked to see if it was damaged beyond like what I could see. Took out one of the clips that holds it in place, went to the store, bought those proper clips, took the zip ties off and put these clips back in. Fixed it properly later. The zip ties were a temporary fix to get it home. I have an issue with people fixing things with zip ties and leaving them and posting them all over the place with hashtag race car or because race car no it's not hashtag because race car it's hashtag because i'm too cheap to fix it properly and i want to look cool in all honesty i understand and i understand yeah shit happens things need to be repaired and sometimes you can't fix it properly right away but don't write it off as hashtag because race car because then that just makes it that much harder for people that are actually building race cars to be taken seriously when like racers as a general in a general sense are frowned upon because oh our cars are loud and brash and they pollute and blah 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 all this other stuff so it's I'm getting passed by a I got passed by a Hyundai that's kind of sad I think I'm going to get passed by a Ford truck that passed me earlier when I was on the highway. That's kind of funny. But I'm doing the speed limit because I'm in no rush. Eh? So, bikes are out. Weather's getting nicer. I'm missing driving my car. Um, but where was I? Oh, yeah. Race cars are frowned upon because they're brash and they're loud and they're oh, and they're mean looking sometimes. And my car's definitely not mean looking. Um, 
it's like they're mean and they're brash and they're loud and they pollute the environment and they're bad for the environment and we use up fuel and all this other stuff. That definitely was a truck that passed me before. So when people have daily driver cars, I don't care if it's a show car, I don't care if it's if like I don't care what your purpose behind the car is. If you're driving it daily driver, driving it great. If you're making it as a show car, awesome. If you're daily driving it into a show car, perfect. That's what makes you happy. I don't care if it's a rat rod. I don't care if it's a, a Volkswagen. I don't care if it's like, you know, a lifted diesel truck that sits like this because you, I don't know why, because it's cool to not put the rear lift in. I'm getting, at least that time I got passed by a Subaru. That's not as embarrassing, although it's a Colorado, so... I guess what I'm trying to say is if it's it's hard to understand why people always post things like because race car but they don't actually race car I guess is the best way to explain it it bothers me because well I guess it doesn't bother me it just it makes it that much harder because if you post things like because race car and you refer to your car as a race car and all it really is is a bunch of stickers and your car has straight piped exhaust and you act like an idiot on the streets it just makes it that much harder for someone like myself or like my boss or some of my other friends that have race cars that we drive on the street when this weather's nicer um it makes it that much harder for us to not get hassled by the police because our cars are go out to the track and they are a little bit louder they are a little more tuned up so and they're usually noticeable because they do make a different noise than like a regular street on car on the street they do make they do look a little bit different they have different they have a they they it's definitely easy to tell that yeah those cars are race cars especially when then they get photos taken at actual race events those pictures end up online police check things online go figure and, you know, then they're like, hey, hey, you know, these guys, they're they're going to be street racing. We don't. And, you know, but we're still going to get hassled because the perception is there that because, because race car as a hashtag exists and other people are out doing stupid shit on the street and not going to a racetrack because they're too cool to go to the racetrack. It's a hassle because it just makes us look bad. And then it, and then you wonder why you get look down upon when you act like a dick you try to become you try to act like some tough guy on the internet and then you but you don't actually show up to the track if i have no problem with you saying because race car if i actually see you you out at a track with your car where was i oh yeah stop being a dick on the streets if you want to say because race car at least make it out to a race event. Stop hard parking and being a show whore with your car and claiming because race car. Stop claiming you're a race car but you don't actually go to a race track. If you don't have time slips or lap times or anything from a track, you shouldn't be able to use the hashtag because race car. Don't you don't do hack fixes and say because race car and use that as a reason why you don't have to fix it right away, why you don't have to fix it properly right away. That shit's just annoying. That's unsafe, and that's putting other people's lives at risk. Sure, maybe a chunk of fiberglass bumper, whatever, no big deal. But, you know, your exhaust is loud, and it probably disturbs other people when they're trying to sleep. And, you know, you think it's cool because race car. So, it's really, really frustrating when, you know, someone tries to talk about how they've got their race car. And, what the hell is this guy doing? That is weird as hell. There's a big black SUV that's kind of pulling you balls on the highway and pulling off at random approaches. Strange. I guess all I'm trying to say is just... It's really frustrating. It'd be like... It's frustrating for me because I am working on a race car. 
And a lot of people would laugh at it and be like, that's not a race car. It needs to be, you know, some fancy imported thing from Japan and it has to have X million horsepower and it has to run so fast in the quarter mile and it has to be this faster on a specific... It's a race car. I use it for racing purposes. It has four wheels and a seat. I drive it in anger on the track and it goes pretty fucking quick. And I'm doing more work to it to make it a little fucking quicker. Um, that being said, I rarely ever hashtag things. I, I don't even have Instagram at the moment, so... Mm-hmm. Um, I've been ranting for about 15 minutes, give or take, depending on how you want to look at things. <sighs> I, it's... It's hard to explain, and I know that this video is only going to get seen by, like, maybe 18 people, so it's even worse, because I just want to say this is my opinion. This isn't the opinion of Deluxe Motorworks. This isn't the opinion of Napa. This isn't the opinion of other people I know. This is my opinion and why I disagree with the hashtag, because race car. If you're not being a race car, then you shouldn't be able to use it. I can't post a picture of me holding a hose without a shirt on me and say something like, because firefighter, because I'm not a firefighter. And I'm guessing other firefighters would probably be like, man, that's kind of fucking stupid. Why are you doing that? Same kind of thing. I do race car things. And so when people claim to be something that they're not, it bothers me. I'm not offended. It's just like, you know... I have no problem. I'd much rather just see you put a hashtag like hashtag my shit broke again. Gotta fix it on the cheap. No harm in that. Or you know, hashtag project car. There's a good one. Project car. It's not a race car, it could be a race car, a show car, a drift car, a donk, a rat rod, it could be a rat rod donk that goes drifting, which would be hilarious as fuck to see. I don't know how you do it, because it probably wouldn't make any sense, but, you know, just, you know, take the rear end lift kit from those trucks that aren't putting them in and put it in the front and leave the bottom, leave the rear down, and then you're you're halfway there. You'll, like, you'll, you'll offend every possible car culture grew probably with one car it'd be kind of cool someone should do it not me because i don't have the money for that kind of shit bro and i'm in the city so now i gotta go do some stuff so thank you guys for watching for all 28 of my subscribers that are subscribing share the video like it if you like it share it leave your comments in the down below let me know what you think share some of your racing stories with me maybe i'll get into reading comments if people leave comments i'll start reading comments and reading them on for the next vlog I know I said I was going to try and get into getting into doing this more regularly, work schedule, everything else, trying to get a car running and all this other stuff going on. Life hasn't been fair. It doesn't always happen that way. Um, but believe me, I'm going to try to start doing this more often. I might, even if I just have to go for a drive and rant about something completely unrelated, then so be it. But thanks for watching. Um, it's probably going to be a long video. I don't know when I'll actually get it up because I'll be busy tonight and then I've got to edit and then upload, which will probably take a good two days. But uh, I will talk to you guys later. Peace.